Welcome to video two of the integration video series for two unit mathematics. We're having a look at the Simpsons rule in this video. The Simpsons rule is another attempt at finding the area under the curve, approximating the area under a curve, and finding the area between the curve, the x axis, and uh, between two x uh, values a and b. Let's have a look at uh, the formula that we use. We have our h circled in red. H circled in red on the Simpsons rule thing and this uh, bit over here tells us how to calculate our H value. We take the B which is our X value at the right edge of our diagram and subtract from that our A which is our X value at the left hand edge of the diagram and it's divided by N. N stands for the number of strips we are using to find our answer here. Okay, so let's uh, draw all over this diagram and show you which, uh, where, where each of these items go. Y0, which is the Y value at the left-hand edge, goes in that first bracket. YN goes next. I'll loop it around the far side here so we don't have too many crossed lines. They get joined up into the one bracket. Our Y value 1, 3, and 5, and any other Y values that you might have that are odd go in the first bracket. So it's four lots of the odd y values. And uh, then in the other bracket, we might have a y5 here. It depends on how many y values we have. But that go, would go into the odds as well. Um, now into our evens bracket here, we'll go the following items, y2, y4, and in any other uh, y values that are even. So that's how we piece together our uh, values into our formula, and uh, we go from there. So I'll show you on an example next. So here's our example. Here's our Simpsons rule written out. And we don't actually have an idea of what function we're talking about here, because we don't really need the, to know about the function if we're given a table of values here to work with. So the question says to use Simpsons rule to find an approximation for the integral of uh, f of x between x equals 1 and x equals 4 using the values on the table. Now according to our diagram understanding from the last slide, our a value is our 1, our b value is our 4, this first y value is actually y0, let me go y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5, and we'll call that last y value yn for the purposes of our Simpson's rule process. Now our h, yeah, I'll do our h up here, h equals b minus a divided by n, which is the number of strips. Now to find the number of strips from a table, we will figure out how many function values we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 function values. So if we have 7 function values, we know there will be 6 strips. Because as we know from a previous video, there's always one more function value than there are strips. So for our b minus a here, we'll take our 4 minus our 1 divided by how many strips we get. So we, um, we have 3 over 6 or a half. Now that half goes in, I'll write it properly for a start, that goes in there and gets divided by 3. So uh, to start off our filling in process here, if we've got a half divided by 3, that turns out to be 1 sixth out the front. Now let's start filling in our values here. Now labelling our um, our table of values is a, is a key bit because we don't have to think about which one's which now. Our y0 we've already labelled as 8.6. We add our yn, which is our final y value over there, 93.2, plus four lots of all our even ones. No, four lots of all our odd ones, sorry. Let's label that anyway. Lo odds, evens. Our odd ones, which go in this four bracket here, 11.9. Uh, our next odd one would be our y3, 39.8. We've got... Uh, y5, 71.4, that's the end of our, um, our odds. Let's do our evens bracket now, in which we'll put y2, 23.7, 
uh, and y4 which is 56.7 and a big square bracket at the end of it so now we're going to make sure that we um, multiply that one sixth from out the front all the way through uh, all of our rest of our calculations there and be careful with our calculator I won't bore you with the calculations but our final answer will be 125.83 and the units we will write down uh, will be square units and we wonder why that is that's because we're finding an area and when we're finding an area we use square units so that's a Simpsons rule from start to finish there we've got a whole bunch of values from the table we can use I think labeling the values on the table uh, does about three quarters of the question that does a lot of our work for us and I'd highly recommend also writing the Simpsons rule out fully on one line and straight underneath it putting the values from the specific question uh, on the second line there I think it's it's hard to go wrong if you're careful with everything and you put everything in the right place there so do enough practice to get the hang of that Thanks very much for listening.